Hello, this is a session on using R Studio to do regression analysis. I am taking an example of a simple linear regression wherein you have one dependent variable and one independent variable. Okay, so first let me introduce R Studio to you. In a R Studio, you basically have four windows in these four windows one of them is the r script where we write the code in r okay the other section is the environment section wherein if we want we can import a data set and we'll see all those variables which have been defined in r in this particular section okay then we have a console where the code written in r can be run okay now this console environment is a interpreter because r works as a interpreter okay not like compiler so what it means is that it will scan the line and run that particular code okay and the other section is where we can install some packages view some plots and so on so altogether there are four sections one is the r script another is the environment third one is the console and and the last one is where we install the packages and check the plots which we have drawn using the R code. Okay. Now coming to the problem here. See, you can always uh, type your R code in some file and then copy and paste the same in the R script. Okay. Now this R script is a section where in case there is any error in your code you can always edit that before sending it to the console okay right so let's see this simple regression problem okay uh, the first code that is the regression data equal to read dot csv file dot choose header equal to true now this particular code when you run that it will actually ask for a file which is of the format of .csv okay that is the comma separated values okay so now here we are actually importing a .csv file where we have the data in it okay and assigning to a variable called regression data which is in the R environment. Now this regression data is just a label given here so you can use any label you want okay so it is just a label for your variable okay. Now when we say read.csv file.choose you are actually have to choose the file which you want to read through. And when you say header equal to true, it means that the file has data with headings in it. So that the heading should not be treated as data, but as headings for each column of the data. Okay. So you can go to the end of this first line and press control R. Okay. You see that the moment I press Ctrl R, the code comes to the console and it is run there. All right. So you see that it is asking for me to select a file from which I should read the data. So I already have a file created in this particular format. So I have a file called smr.csv so you can see that 
you can create this comma separated value file even in an excel and save it right so smr i just open this the moment i open this you see that in the environment i have got a variable regression data which actually contains two variables all right with seven observations now let me see what is this data all about so that's why i have in the next line of code i have just typed regression data that means it will once we run this particular line you will get the complete list of data okay so i just press control r after the end of the second line and you will see that uh, it has read the contents of my smr.csv file wherein i have two variables salary and years of experience okay and there are seven observations so that's why if you see in this global environment section you have a regression data with seven observations of two variables okay now let me come directly to the regression function here wherein i have created a variable called model so in for model i am calling up a function called lm lm stands for linear model right so here my salary is a dependent variable whereas years of experience is an independent variable okay and data equal to regression data what it means is it will choose all data from this particular variable to which i have read the data from my dot csv file okay so once this code is run okay you will see that i have a model which has some list of 12 things okay if you want to see that you can always expand and see what are the contents of this so it is giving you coefficients it's giving you residuals okay and there are many more things which are there in this okay so to have a look at the summary of the model developed i run the code which in line 5 summary model okay so the moment i run summary model you will see that it will call that function lm okay and you will see the coefficients here which you typically see in a regression wherein the coefficients are given the estimates for the coefficients the intercept and the years of experience standard error t value right and the p value to check whether the, it is significant or not and so on so here you can make out that the intercept is not significant whereas the years of experience is a very significant variable okay right and you have also got the residuals residuals are basically observed values minus the estimated values for a particular observation okay and then you have the residual standard error okay your r square here is 0.9925 so that means 99% of the changes in the dependent variable are explained by the independent variable that means 99.25% of the changes in the salary is explained by changes in 
the years of experience all right and you also have the f statistic here okay the f statistic is 657.6 and the numerator degrees of freedom is 1 whereas the denominator degrees of freedom is 5 okay right so moving on to the next line of code where we are making use of a function called plot and with plot model in the plot model basically we'll get different you no know, plots concerned with the model so if i run this code you see that there are plenty of plots that's why it's asking for hit the run to see the next plot and so on so i just click on the console and type enter 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 okay so you see that there are so many plots which have been drawn okay which may be relevant for understanding the model so some of this you can see is let's say the residual versus the fitted values you see that all the observations fall on the line except one which is the observation number five and if we see why is it so you can see that most all the relation uh, observations one two three okay it is very uh, much a linear relationship of years of experience in fact you can see salary is two times of years of experience in most of the cases except the case observation number five that's why this observation number five has come out of that particular fit okay so like this you may get different plots which you can analyze for understanding the model so this is all about understanding regression in r i hope you like this video and you are encouraged to use this particular software because it is available for free okay unlike the other conventional softwares thank you